Hello and welcome. Sometimes we need to hard code subtitle to the video so that we can share the video with other having the subtitle in the video. Let's say you want to share a video with someone over Google Drive, but when someone plays a video on Google Drive, it is very hard to add subtitle if the subtitle is not hard coded into the video. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hard code subtitle into a video. So to start that, first I want to discuss the procedure. To hard code subtitle into a video, you have to re-encode the video. So this will take some time. This will use your hardware. That means your processor. So you have to be patient if the video is very long. There are two common ways to do this. One is using FFmpeg for which you have to have FFmpeg installed on your computer and you have to run a command from the terminal or command prompt in Windows. But if you have VLC Media Player, then you can use VLC Media Player to encode the subtitle. And one advantage in VLC Media Player is VLC Media Player keep the text as it is. Let's say you are encoding a uh, subtitle which is not in English. It can be in Chinese, Japanese or any other language. If you use FFmpeg, then the font can be sometimes unsupported. But in VLC, the font is kept the same as it appears in text. Okay, so I'll show you how to do this. Before starting, I want to also include one thing, which is if we use VLC Media Player to encode your subtitle, then you have to be careful after the encoding is complete. If you just close the VLC Media Player by pressing on the cross button on the right top corner, then the video will not be written properly. So you have to close from the menu using the exit button. I'll show you how to do that. So first of all, here I have a movie named the Dark Knight Rises. This is a SRT file and here it is. This is in my native language, Bengali. And this is the video. So I'm opening my VLC media player. I'm not playing the video. I'm just opening VLC media player without playing anything. And then going to the stream menu. So there are some other menus here uh, like convert, save, etc. But you have to use stream to encode the subtitle. And here you have to select the video file you want to encode and the subtitle file you want to encode together. So for that, I'm selecting the movie, The Dark Knight Rises, and then I'm selecting this, use the subtitle and selecting the subtitle I want to hard code into the video. And after selecting both subtitle and the movie, I'm clicking on the stream button here and this is showing that my source files, my source video file is this and I'm going to next. Here, this is a very important part. You have to understand that you have to write the output to a different file. So you have to select file as a destination setup, adding file. And here you have to write or you have to write a file which is not present in a correct directory. So if I browse here, here the movie is already, already present. So what I can do is I can write Batman 3 dot mp4 in this directory. There is no file named Batman 3 dot mp4 and the file extension is also important but mp4. So you have to select a new file which is not present here in a specific directory here the destination file will be this in my f drive in the folder of the dark Knight rises and a file name mp4 batman 3.mp4 so there will a new file will be created based on this name and the directory in this location by this name and clicking on next here activate transcoding is selected and in the setup button if i click there I can select the audio and video codec here. My uh, video codec is as usual, audio codec is also default. And in subtitle, I have to select both subtitle and overlay subtitle on the video, which is already selected. If you don't have it selected, then please select and press save. 
after doing that I'm clicking on next and here I have to do nothing I just want to click on stream and the transcoding will begin so this will take some time based on the video quality and the power of your computer so after clicking on stream here the transcoding just begun so after the full transcoding is complete then we will find that the VLC media player is in pause mode now the VLC media player is in playing mode but it's converting the file so when the converting is complete then we will find the playing button into pause button and then you should not click here if you click here then the video will not write to the hard disk properly so you have to do this you have to go to media here and click on quit and you have to wait at least 5 to 10 seconds for VLC media player to complete the writing process into the file so this step is very important if you wait for the full processing and do not follow this step you will not get the correct video so please follow this as I have described press on quit and after VLC media player completely exits then you will find a new video here which is currently on progress it's just in 8 megabyte so after complete processing and after quitting the PLC media player correctly you will find a new video which is a video with transcoded subtitle that means the subtitle is hard coded into the video so guys this is how you can hard code the subtitle into video thank you so much for watching